Hello gorgeous people, I'm Chris from Techspert and these past few days I've mostly been piddling about with the Nothing OS 1.5 beta based on Android 13. And this packs in a few of Nothing's own little tweaks including a fresh all new app plus of course all of those lovely regular Android 13 benefits. Now Nothing OS 1.5 will be rolling out in early 2023 to Nothing phones all over the joint but if you're not in the beta here's what to expect. Oh yeah and uh, do the porky subscribe thing as well if you want to. So the main addition in Nothing OS version 1.5 is a fresh new custom designed Nothing weather app with information served straight from AccuWeather. Now personally I don't need an app to tell me that it's going to be colder than a penguin's these next few months here in Blighty but if you're into weather then you're well and truly sorted. Nothing has kept it all consistent so you've got that same dot matrix vibe as the rest of the Nothing phone apps and the UI. When you first open the app it immediately tells you your current conditions in your area including the actual temperature, the feel like temperature, UV index and any warnings including in this case yellow warning for ice, what a surprise. And that makes it sound like there's a lot of yellow ice about which is just all kinds of wrong. And if you scroll on down you'll see predictions of how the weather's going to turn out the rest of the day and also for the next few days. And if you give any of that a uh, brief poke that just takes you straight to the AccuWeather website so you can get a bit more info and of course loads of bloody ads. You've also got even more info down here including the humidity, the wind speed and the sunset time for today. Not really sure why that's down here at the bottom, surely that should be ab above the predictions for the rest of the week but whatever. Once again you've got a bit of that minimalist styling as well which looks really neat and fits in with the rest of the UI. We've got the light theme on the go here because it is still just about daytime but you do get the dark mode kicking in when it's the evening. And if you want to that's something you can actually change up in the system settings as well as well as which units are used for temperature, wind speed etc. And you can also set up weather reports for alternate locations as well. And that right there is the highly exciting Nothing OS 1.5 weather app. Another change in Nothing OS 1.5 is the addition of the Google Game Dashboard. You can bring this out when you're in game with a quick poke of this arrow like so. And this offers up shortcuts to a handful of pretty decent features. You can take screenshots, you can record all of the action, bit of do not disturb, you can stream direct to YouTube and there's an optimization option as well for supported games which seems to be f all right now. And in Nothing OS 1.5 the volume controls have also been rejiggered to make them easier to fiddle with. Just tap these three dots and out pops the media and alarm volumes. And when you are fiddling about with the volume you'll see you now have that live captioning tool in place. And you can turn this on to transcribe anything with speech in real time. So that's video, podcasts, yada yada. It can even mostly kind of work out what I'm saying which is pretty bloody impressive. You've also now got a new clipboard pop-up tool so if you copy a bit of text like so you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen this little bubble pops up and you can tap that in order to edit the text before you bung it in somewhere else. I don't know about you but I certainly can't even stand up right now. And Android 13 also improves on the already pretty bloody good privacy controls found in Android 12. So for instance now when you first open an app you will be asked if you want the bugger to actually send you notifications or not so you can say a big fat no to that one. And it's also supposed to be easier now to kill apps which are running in the background straight through the notifications tab. You're supposed to get a little icon popping up down here. No sign of that though so no idea what the bugger in hell is going on. Speaking of the notifications tab, that media widget has been spruced up so it's more prominent and looks even jazzier complete with a nice bit of album artwork. And if you're alternating between a bit of podcast action and some music you can quickly and easily flick between the different audio apps. However here on the Nothing phone in Nothing OS Beta 1.5 so far there's no hypnotic undulation of that playback bar which is a bit of a shame and indeed when you try and fiddle about with the playback bar it just seems to skip you right through to the next track rather than actually putting you at the place in the track where you wanted it to go. Got a few other little additions here and there as well so for instance dive into customization and go to the icon pack and you've now got those Android 13 themed icons. And there's plenty of behind the scenes shenanigans as well so for instance your favourite apps will now load faster as well no buggering about. And the phone can also better regulate all of the crap that's building up in the background as well so for instance it can clear that cache more regularly to free up a bit of space for whatever you need. And that right there in a nutshell is the Nothing OS 1.5 beta based on Android 13 here on the Nothing phone and no massively vital new Nothing inclusions in there the weather app is very nice and all. Not really sure how often I would use it personally. But it is fantastic to see all of those Android 13 features stuffed here on the Nothing phone and so far seems pretty stable. It all seems to play together nicely barring just one or two little issues. 
Now, if you're tempted by the Nothing Phone one, but you haven't actually got one of your own just yet, I highly recommend it. I even included it in my roundup of the best smartphones of the year for 400 quid, great value for money. But anyhow, you can check out my full review of this right here on Techspert. And if you've got yourself the Nothing Phone, be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, especially if you've been checking out the beta. Please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.